So quality is a big thing. When you're searching for a builder, look at the quality they're building. Walk through the home and look at the quality inside. If they're, if the inside doesn't look good, I can guarantee you they took short steps everywhere else. So I just wanted to bring y'all out, show y'all this. Let everybody understand what everybody, what everything is. All of these, these are called risers, basically. Every one of these pipes is where a drain will go or it'll, there'll be a vent that goes up. Uh, but it looks like all these are for drains. Um, and then over here, the plumber put in a, this is called a sleeve. So right here where this sleeve is, actually where that green line is on that form, and right here's the sleeve. That sleeve is uh, is good. A lot of plumbers don't put them. I'm glad that these ones did it. So what happens is when your beam goes down, the concrete goes over that sleeve, it allows your other pipe to move some. If you don't put a sleeve, any movement can break that pipe off. But since they put a sleeve and put foam, that allows it to move. So that's a good thing. And then if you see on their form, they put a the, uh, the green, that's everywhere there's gonna be a beam. So whenever they stack all the the uh, sandbags full of dirt, they'll leave that beam space open. So between there and there stays open. Everywhere else will have bags all the way up to about four inches from the top of the concrete. That way you'll still have beams and then they'll lay the cables and everything else, but still not a good way to do it. Uh, we have a lot of houses that sink in the middle and this is why. Yes, we have clay soils. Yes, they expand and they contract. But if you do the foundation right, the, the risk is minimal. And this, this is just not the right way to do it.